The kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Mountaineers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. It's hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 22 yard line. Second down. Breaks a tackle and he could go. That's a great tackle at the 41 yard line. I like how the blitz was identified and then picked up. That's a good test for a quarterback. How does he react in the face of pressure? Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45-yard line. This is a great illustration of how powerful this young man is. If you try to arm tackle him, then he won't go down. You have to put your body in front of him. Caught out in the open. He's tackled the 39-yard line. Six-yard pickup. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. They'll spread the field with five wide. Check, check out. Disco Throws out to the tight end again, completes. To the 10. He scores. What a play. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Get to that quickly. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24 yard line, it's second down. Three down, three down. Watch 14, watch 14. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He's under pressure. Fourth and long here after the sack. It's away and it's a booming punt. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or let's start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And he just gets rid of it. From the 44-yard line, second down. West Virginia is up a score. Never really had 
a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. 31's the mic. Set. Oklahoma. He's out to the 30. He makes his way out to about the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Second and six. Ball on the 49 yard line. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. Tackles him hard at the 21-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. From the 21-yard line, second down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. So the sack makes this third and very long. And he's sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. It has the distance, and it's good. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow-through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 7-3, West Virginia. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. West Virginia is up four. He's to the 40. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 47-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Here's a little draw play. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. That'll, That'll make, make it, it second, second and four. four. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. And down he goes at the 34. 
That's, That's good, good for gaining nine yards. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and one. one. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. West Virginia leads it 7-3. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 21. Number eight makes the tackle at the 21 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Brought down at the 25. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. That makes it 70 15. And this play is number eight on the drive. West Virginia holds a four-point lead. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. the stop at the eight yard line on the ball, on the ball. 36, 36. throws complete touchdown that's a positive for the passing game it was absolutely the right call in that situation And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed way before halftime. complete over the middle. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. the 36 yard line and he's taken down around the 35 yard line he just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play that'll bring up second and 11. it's second down and 11 to go all on their own 35. gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Booming kick. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. 
you think about the challenges these two teams are facing on one side you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead and on the other side you've got to find a way to get back in it give to the tailback he's taken down around the 36 yard line he gains a couple of yards on the carry that makes it second and eight And he throws it away. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. It's knocked away, incomplete. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. That makes it fourth and eight. And this one is a beauty. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Goes complete, and he stopped immediately. Second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws a bullet over the middle. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. The <laughs> and they got to him before he could get back to the line. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Number 47 makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. That brings us third and 10. Three down, three down. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike, 47 Mike. And he's level at the 23. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. The Mountaineers' offense normally predicated with the ground game, but today it's a passing game that's working it's for been, It's been a big surprise, Brad. I mean, we all expected to see this star running back have a big game, but it's been nice to see the versatility of this offense and see this passing game step up. Fires out quickly to the tailback. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. And it's caught. And he's tackled at about the 41. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Caught, open field, tackle around the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of 13 yards. First down. Quick strike, and he drops it. From the 28-yard line, second down. Quick throw. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. 
So that's a five play, 63 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. So the score now, 21 3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For West Virginia, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. It's been a very well-rounded effort for this entire team, not just the defense. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Zips it to the tight end, and he's hit immediately. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. Loose football. It's scooped up by the offense. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Go. 30 was the mic. Go! 247. 247. There go. There go. Alert, alert, alert. Cat, cat, cat. Fires out quick, it's picked off. Down the sideline. And down he goes at the 15. They're gonna have to make some changes in a hurry or else this game will be over by halftime. So with the half ending, they're just gonna try to put three points up on the board. Kicks up, and he's got it. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. 24-3, West Virginia. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This halftime lead can make a team feel as if the game is over, that they've already done their work, that they put the other guy away. But I think the first few minutes of the second half could be paramount if they want to build on this lead and make sure that they finish it with a victory. Oh, absolutely. If you come out and you give up a, a score right away, you're talking about making this game within two scores and, and making it a little bit closer than you want it to. So if you can come out get a stop, get a score, you can put this game out of reach right away. You can make the other side extremely one-dimensional, make them pass happy, and put them in a situation where you know exactly what you're going to get from them. So you got to come out in the first few minutes of the third quarter, establish yourself, and shut that door of any hope for the other side. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want need got to go get it either way Brandon Kirk are there to deliver welcome back everybody second half action about to begin he just drills this one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. West Virginia's coaching staff will go out tonight and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal well the team is and great there's no doubt about it but i just think that the offense that they're facing it's just been so conservative so predictable it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game and he can't get away from the pressure wow that is a big hit on the quarterback that's one of those as an offensive lineman when the That'll film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Quarterback, don't get nervous now. We ain't beginning to sweat. 
And he just gets rid of it. Watch, watch the run, watch the run. The south, baby, that's the baby shot. Throw it was the mic. He chucks it downfield. Good tackle there in space. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Larry, Larry. It's needed up. 31's the mic. Hey, here we go. Two and eight. Get go. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. I'm coming after you. 31's the mic. Take a go. Two for a step. And he might want it all here and does. Doesn't get there. I know that this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. They worked all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary. Just didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. And he got it. Pittsburgh is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Red two, go! He's going to try and scramble. Diving for extra yardage. Three-yard line. throws left and it's caught brought down at the 15 yard line anytime a defense brings pressure like that the most important aspect isn't just the quarterback and the receiver and their execution it's the offensive line and their communication even pre-snap read okay here if this blitz is coming i've got to pick up him and i thought that time they recognized the blitz they communicated very well up front Everybody picked up their assignment and gave the quarterback the time to be able to read that defense and make that throw. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. They get four yards on the halfback option. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he's immediately tackled. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it first and goal. They make the stop at the four. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Check. 
dives and he's down. That's a game of four. That makes his third and goal. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Tackle made at about the 35. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the down. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. yard line. From the 33 yard line, it's first down. Tackles him hard at the 25 yard line. Number 22 brings him down at the 25 yard line. That brings, that brings up, up second, second and one. one. The 17-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17. He has some room. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Not much of a contest here as we head into the final stanza. 31-6, West Virginia. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Under heavy pressure. And he hits him hard at the 11. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. 31's the mic. I'm 225. And they push him out at about the five-yard line. That's a case where good discipline and execution by an offense make the difference between fourth down and a first down. This is the ninth play of this drive. At the two yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. They're at the two. It's second down. And the goal line defense digging in here. Touchdown! Hit! No 
nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. They'll bring him down at the 37. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make go, a here stop. Go, here go. Go. Caught with room to work. To the 10. And he will score. Touchdowns now for this quarterback. He's having just a terrific game today. He's gotten great blocking up front the entire game, and his receivers are making plays. So I don't just give credit to the quarterback, but this entire offense for getting things done. And he hits the PAT. West Virginia kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes in the zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. And it'll be interesting to see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. All on the fourth. To the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Panthers. That was some kind of catch and run by the halfback. Uh, that was a mismatch that the offense took advantage of. He completely burned the defender for the score. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? And he tacks on the extra point. A short two-play, 75. Drive and they get it in for seven. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. He's taken down at the 42. West Virginia's expertise carrying the football is what we thought was going to be in the spotlight today, and here it's been the passing game instead. Yeah, we really thought this running back would have one of those days you'd remember for a long time, but this passing game has stepped up and been put this offense in a position to be able to win this game. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 42-yard line, second down. They try running left. He's at the 30. And they finally push him out at the 17. First down. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Make it a trick with three teams. He catches. It's really not too crazy. He's just running good, clean routes and catching the ball when it comes his way. He 
makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here but that being said we could still see some exciting plays Rose intercept no he dropped it that was a nice play anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus from their own 25-yard line second down Quick pass. Tackle at the 31 yard line. Number 47 with the tackle at the 31 yard line. Third down. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 48 yard line. From the 48 yard line. First down. Steps out of bounds around the 45 yard line. over the middle and down he goes at the 25. From the 25 yard line, first down. Makes it to the 11. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Number 22 on the coverage. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. 47, Mike, 47, Mike, Mike, 47. Where's it out to the right to the hatback? They'll bring him down around the eight yard line. Number 23 on the tackle at the eight yard line. That makes it 37. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Boss is out to the tailback on the screen. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. I think they had to go for it, given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. On the ground, right side. Gets out to around the 22. 
to be made on the play. That makes it second. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Two tights, two tights. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Check 13. I check 13. Yeah, let's go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. And that's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, West Virginia, 45, Pittsburgh, 20. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.